I want to show you something cool. This is an Ormolu clock. Ormolu is crushed gold in French. We affectionately refer to this around here as the death clock. That's because people actually died making clocks like this. They didn't make this with any power tools. It was all hand tools. And here's the deadly part. These individual pieces, they would have to cast. And the way they cast them was, they would have to take a piece of wax and carve it into this whole figure right here. Just like I did right here with uh, some skull charms I'm making for a customer. Obviously not as detailed. <laughs> so what you would do is you would carve your wax and then you would put a wax stem on the bottom of it, like right here on the bottom. Then you put a steel cylinder over this right here and fill it full of plaster of Paris. Let the plaster of Paris dry. Then you snap off this rubber piece right here and then you have basically your wax inside plaster of Paris. Then you put it in an oven and get it really, really hot and the wax melts out. You have a, you know, a cavity right there. So they would take some tongs, flip it upside down when the cylinder was like 800 degrees, you know, melt some gold or in this case, some brass pour it in, and then uh, after it cooled down, they'd wash the plaster of Paris away, and then you'd have your object. They would take the body of the clock, soak it in mercury. The mercury would adhere to the brass. There is a chemical reaction between mercury and gold. It's really odd if you've ever seen it. The gold will just suck right into the mercury. They pushed it in, okay, all with hand, got all the mercury all over their hands. <laughs> after the gold had been pushed into the mercury, they'd take the whole clock body without the movement in it and put it in an oven in usually a closed room and sat around and burned off the mercury and everyone around the room got to breathe it all in. If you've ever heard the term mad as a hatter, that came from hat makers who used to use mercury in the process of making hats. They would absorb the mercury into their skin and inhale it and it made them go crazy. They stopped making these right around 1830 because of that. People were just dropping dead left and right from the process. Whenever you're looking at classical art, whether a painting or a sculpture, always look for proportion. You want everything in proportion. The legs, the feet, the face, the neck, everything looks like it's on a human being and not a cartoon. And with any nice sculpture, always look at the hands. Nice hands are everything. Cheap Chinese cast bronze or brass, bad hands. Back in the day, you had to be a rich guy to own this thing. This probably cost around $500 in 1800, which was the equivalent of around $20,000 today. And even today, you got to be a pretty well-off individual to own this thing. I won eight grand for it.